Hey, you're in bed with Rich. Okay, I want to focus on uh, uh, the COVID uh, scam, scam edic, pandemic scam. And I think it's more also specifically part and parcel, just one puzzle of uh, among many other puzzle pieces. Um, in, in a strategy of um, de world global depopulation. Ah, ah, let's let's uh, let's crap myself. Let's bring myself a little bit more, a little bit more vertical here. Yeah. Uh, oh. All right, I got a bit more here. Eh? Right, right. Yeah, depopulation. In there is. A, in a county uh, inside Georgia, the state, the United States, the state of Georgia, there's a county bordering uh, South uh, Carolina. Yeah. There's, in the 1980s, if I recall correctly, there's, uh, uh, there's a relatively wealthy man uh, that... Uh, Worked extremely hard to stay anonymous. I think I think very few to next nobody knows his identity. <laughs> Cause uh, for for a good reason. I mean, thank goodness for thank goodness though. I mean, uh, it, 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 in some ways it's too bad because this guy should. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I mean. He he uh, spent quite a bit of money in in uh, finding carving. Carving out and, and engraving deep, large words and, and giant, really giant, I mean, what, more than one or two story high? Rocks, rectangle rocks. Uh, and he set them up a little bit like Stonehenge, uh, uh, vertically, in a certain pattern that uh, is, is relates, it relates to an astronomical, co cosmic uh, star pattern and stuff like that. And uh, so, uh, this is in the 1980s, if I recall correctly. And he wrote, he wrote uh, I I'm sure, you know what, I'm sure it was not completely all from one person. This, this guy, I think, probably he was commissioned to, to do that uh, by the powers that be. I mean, the really... Higher up powers that be. Probably one of the uh, the secret societies, orders in the Illuminati. Uh, yeah, and uh, so this guy had in, had engraved uh, several phrases and sentences uh, on each stone facing uh, the, the outside, and one of them. And you can find uh, most, if not all, of the writings if you go on Libri.tv uh, and you watch the. Uh, it's supposed to be a ten part, but so far, because uh, I think it's in, it's in, it's not finished. It, it's not completely finished, or it's not completely uploaded yet. I'm staying up to date every now and then when I go there to upload my own content. Which you can go see on my channel. Uh, optimization Coach. Uh, Libri.tv slash whatever. Optimization Coach. And I'm also on their more or less clone. Uh, uh, Odyssey. Under the same thing. Optimization Coach. But anyway. Uh, it's called The Fall of the Cabal. So. Uh, again. It's, so so it, it is a bit optimistic. Uh, so I've yet. I mean, even uh, even at part five, there's no indication that it's that it's uh, going to fall or weakening and stuff like that. But anyway, of course, the, the cabal is the uh, she, she. It's a she. It's a uh, Netherlands Dutch uh, female researcher, author, and uh, she makes two versions at least: one in, in uh, her native language and one in English. And of course, the cabal is, by far, is the uh, as she says in there, it's the Illuminati. Um, 
the writ, writ large and as several other uh, powerful organizations and, and, and groups. Uh, so, uh, and, and so the number one, uh, I, I, the number one uh, engravement that I that struck me, well, struck me. I knew this. I knew the the uh, several of them to like a decades ago, uh, before the internet, and then uh, on the internet uh, through Infowars, Alex Jones. And yeah, and so, uh, um, so, so you get this number one uh, statement that, that you know the the, uh, the the that the statement that uh, uh, of stuff that we should do goals that we should do globally collective goals that we should strive for is bring back down the world population from whatever it is now seven seven or so billion to to half a billion. Or 500 million people only. Uh, so that's that's the one, uh, and and the other one is uh, that I recall correctly is uh, man man should should remain in concert with nature and let nature have the upper hand in in all our dealings and behavior and lifestyle and and, and civilization. <laughs> and it he repeats it twice. Uh, so it's more or less that phrase. It's not word for word, but you can go look it up. The uh, the um, the following to come out. Of course, it's probably it's probably all the sources on the internet that talks about this. Of course. Uh, yeah. So so yeah, the COVID extended lockdowns, extended uh, uh, micro, macro, global, local, municipal, national, international suffering. And of course, uh, the attacks more uh, the focusing much more on the, the regulation, the lockdowns of small businesses, entrepreneurs, uh, and secondary to medium businesses, and the, the largest corporations. They are the least affected. They have the least. <laughs> they have the least. The the least least subjected to the government regulation and lockdowns. You know, they they are exempt. Exempted. Much more than the small and medium businesses. They go go figure, eh? Of course, this is a classic, uh, common tactic that the end of stage uh, communist socialist societies do, eh? Um. Uh, yeah, uh, and most people like fuck man, nine ninety nine plus most people on planet Earth they have no fucking idea what what they're. What uh, twenty uh, twenty one is uh, will have in store for them? Uh, 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 right? <laughs> yeah, that is my gut feeling, uh, and, and, uh, and from what I know of uh, reading so much about it. Ah, uh, 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 fuck, man! What a beautiful, beautiful day. Yeah, I'm winding it down. Ah, uh, oh, man! I feel. good. Good. Do you feel good? I feel good. Oh, yeah, James Brown. Uh, so yeah, so the COVID lockdown, uh, and of course, uh, it, and of course, it's uh, they know exactly very much what they're doing. Oh, I wouldn't say exactly, exactly, but uh, they're the the major. Uh, strategy. They know this well enough. Uh, and of course, they count on people. People will. You know. I mean, sorry. The, the lockdown, the extended lockdowns, will uh, will test. Will, it will be a challenge, and it will be a fitness test, physical, financial, mental, emotional, psychological test, examination, uh, evaluation, analysis. A shit test for billions of people to see, to discover. Um, it will reveal how strong they are uh, to survive, to survive the lockdown, the extended lockdowns, and 
and so far from what I've read uh, here in, in the uh, far and near, uh, the lockdowns globally they're gonna they're gonna be at least going to through the winter, through the winter at least through the winter. <laughs> but can you imagine? Because look, can you imagine, especially in the United States and Canada? Can you imagine if if they for if they force us to wear mask at work, especially at work, uh, even through the summertime with the the heat and humidity festival? <laughs> Yikes! Eh? <laughs> especially those in standing up all day, manual. Uh, labor jobs like mine. <laughs> me, me, of course. I'm gonna, I'm going to. If they do that, I'm going to have the least amount of difficulty, uh, discomfort, and problems uh, among any, by far, any of my colleagues. That's for sure, because most people are like me. Most people, they sweat, they perspire way too, way too prematurely at, at uh, the slightest, even standing up doing nothing, at the slightest physical exertion. I mean, just walking, just standing up. <laughs> many, uh, many people, and it's proportion, proportional, of course, also very much to how one's, one is overweight. To obese and morbidly obese. <laughs> Me, I'm quite the opposite of that. You know, the uh, I, I, I will tend to sweat a lot more. I mean, I have to like really push myself there um, to sweat. Uh, you know, uh, combination of strength and cardio. Sweat much at all, <laughs> much at all in the summertime. I need to really, really push myself really fucking hard, man. To to have drops of, you know, sweat, drops of sweat just rolling, dripping down my face. <laughs> because simply, very few people will bother to tell you this. Because I am so fucking optimized biochemically, uh, hormonally. Uh, in in the sleep dimension, nutrition, and uh, uh, strength training, uh, and, and and of course uh, my aerobic cardio capacity also, uh, and of course the the, uh, the lifetime avoidance of alcohol, uh, smoking, pot, cigarette, and. Uh, and, and the like, whatever else that people uh, uh, smoke. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that's, that's that's how it is. Um. So that so so the number one thing is it's it's, it's part of depopulation, depopulation. Uh, and, and it's and, it, and notice how it's it it is uh, the attack, the global attacks. It is is made on several fronts, psychologically, financially, uh, emotionally. Hey, eh? uh, like you, you fucking Americans. Uh, uh, so far, you're you're just getting six six hundred dollars. What is it? What six hundred dollars per per what per month per week per second two weeks? What is it? You know, and what the the, the stimulus package is like two point three mil, uh, uh two point three uh, trillion? No billion? Is it trillion? I forget. Like I hope it's not a, a trillion. And what uh, the whole continent of Asia is getting like one point four billion. And just Egypt is going is getting something like one point three billion. <laughs> what is it? Oh uh, yeah, one guy said, "Oh, it's to to uh, discourage Egypt, uh, discourage Egypt from continuing to fight Israel." <laughs> and Israel is getting what a half half a billion, five hundred million, <laughs> and and 
Yeah, tiny little country. What? Israel has what? Seven, eight million people only? <laughs> a little bit like Hong Kong. And you're getting half a billion dollars. <laughs> oh, those tiny, tiny hats, eh? Ah, what power do they have? It's incredible, eh? To control the fucking United States, man. Fascinating, eh? <laughs> what is the Christian right? Hey, the righteous right. The righteous Christian right. And I said, where the fuck are you, man? <laughs> oh, man, eh? So this this uh, coming to a head at, this, at the end of this year and uh, and uh, the for, foreseeable future, it is really showing your fucking weaknesses, eh? Just, uh, the Christian... Righteous right, eh? <laughs> it's it is really, really revealing in broad day like your impotence. <laughs> oh wow. Anyway, so yeah, depopulation tactic. Of course, uh and this, the other pe- puzzle pieces in the depopulation is uh Antifa and uh, BLM. And, and uh, okay, so just just focus on BLM a little bit. So I don't know if you know already. They they've received already now like over ten billion dollars just this year apparently of funding from from individual institutions and government and, and so on. <laughs> ten billion BLM. <laughs> Fascinating, eh? <laughs> and of course, if you go on the website and and, and you really bother to. To read it all, go right down the rabbit hole about what they stand for. They stand for very much the destruction of the nuclear family, you know, reproduction of <laughs> the white race. <laughs> yeah, and of course, this that's depopulation, depopulation of of uh, not just the global population, but depopulation via most of all from the uh, from the from the white white people. So yeah, so that is a major uh, cause also, long-term strategy of depopulation. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go Antifa. I need I need to uh, find a way to articulate a little bit better accurately how uh, how they are how they behave to to. Uh, depopulate their planet Earth. So there's these two, the BLM and COVID. Especially, well, some, number one by far, COVID. Um, and related to that, uh, I think I wrote this about this on my Facebook timeline yesterday. Here in Montreal area, there's a 75-year-old father. Okay? He, he's celebrating his 75th birthday in his home. In his own in his own home with his wife and several of his uh, or all of his uh, adult children, Hosberg. <laughs> so the, the police catch a wind of it. Uh, probably when the neighbors snitch on uh, on them and so on. Sadly, and they the police char- they charge they find him the father six thousand <laughs> fiat dollars <laughs> and fifteen hundred dollars each. The uh, the adult children only, only in the same home so don't ask me what the actual regulations are how many people are supposed to be in the same home and if they have to be relatives or not and to what extent they have to be relatives nuclear family or extended I, I, I don't know but uh, but so to put the cherry on, on the on the top of this tragedy 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 <laughs> the father the patriarch the patriarch he kills his wife accidentally I don't know exactly the details. I didn't go down the rabbit hole to find out. I <laughs> I would rather not because it's really too fucking depressing. So this is where it is. I mean, here in Montreal area. <laughs> uh, and of course, so so specifically, the lockdown defined the 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 popula- uh, the, the the cops the uh, cops are p- participating more than ever in, in the surveillance state. <laughs> Uh, and very much like the 1984 movie, eh? Where uh, in the in Ink Sock, Ink Sock, the, the uh, Communist Party name, as all pervasive, is uh, is uh, is omnipotent. That's all the power in the universe in the movie. 
this happens is happening in uh, the movie was filmed created in the UK by by UK director producer and the, it's all also UK actors and actresses and, and extras and so on 1984 Hey, hey, how close or even worse than than, some, than that in some ways we, we are at, hey, in 2020. <laughs> of course, hey, I'm laughing throughout, I'm, uh, I'm giggling a lot throughout this, this vlog because it's uh, just being very sarcastic and cynical here. A snide. Uh, and uh, well, what's, what's, what's the word Alex Jones often uses? Sarcastic and... It starts with an S also. Uh. Oops. Let's fix this, the lighting. Uh. Ah, this is my favorite lighting. Yeah, so this, this, uh, yeah, I, I put a picture on my Facebook timeline. It's incredibly useful. Little uh, ring light. And you attach your phone in the middle. <laughs> Incredible. You have a long tripod, extendable like up to what, four or five feet? Uh, it's absolutely amazing. Absolutely incredibly useful. Lightweight, rechargeable battery. Absolutely amazing. So, so yeah, the specifics also inside the lockdowns is, is the injection of fear by specific uh, people. Uh, namely the police, you know, because, because, uh, of course, the police, they do the dirty work, they are the, uh, the boots on your throat, on your head, uh, of course, you, you'll never, because you never see the fucking politician do the, do the actual enforcement of the laws that they pass, eh, because <laughs> that's why they, they have these, these, uh, these, these, uh, people called cops and police, that enforces the, the laws, the rules and regulations, fair or not. Ah, uh, uh, a bit more vertical here. Ah. Uh, uh, and of course, uh, related to that, it's slave on slave surveillance and violence and snitching also. You know, uh, because most people, they, they put... Uh, conformity always at the top number one number one number one above anything above uh, uh, above morality and ethics and above long term non dysgenic dysgenic uh, behavior I don't know you put uh, uh, comfort the next five minutes of comfort uh, above any long-term planning, any long-term comfort, because it's one thing to to desire the next five minutes of just leave me the fuck alone and have have no stress, no friction, no no pressure, no uh, conflict, no irritation. But it's another thing to to desire that. Uh, to desire the same long term you know, over months, years, and decades, eh? <laughs> and and the cost attached to that. <laughs> you know, I should know this, right? And of course, I know quite well about the um, the uh, the uh, uh, having instant gratification, plunging headfirst deeply into. Uh, uh, dysgenic dysgenic behavior I don't know, like I said I think it's my last vlog I, uh, at least two decades I I wasted very much two decades of my life you know from uh, what is it uh, blah, blah. actually it's more than that fuck man what am I what, what am I saying man no, it's like for over four, 40 years, over 40 years, four decades. Because if you can include the 22 years of uh, me born and living in a tiny little fucked up cult, religious cult, 
Oh, yeah, fuck, I forgot about that. It's over 40 years. Uh, hold on, wait a second. What? Over 40 years? Oh, oh fuck it, I'm 52. Going to be 53 in February. Wow. Damn it, man, man. So, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. But but it's, it's, it's a different context in the sense that a lot of, more rather more, in most of my first 22 years of my life, I was... A lot of it, well, I was not responsible. I was not in control because I was living under my parents, uh, my parents' uh, roof, their home. Uh, oh, it's when I escaped I, uh, into uh, whew, into my first apartment. Then, 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 then I had the, much more of the responsibility to ameliorate, improve my life, and. And go forward. Yeah, yeah. The uh, this is a really fucking uh, powerful thing. Like, like you know, the Montreal father, patriarch, and his family. They got f f uh, uh, fined. Uh, that's over ten thousand dollars, I think, with the, the the children. And of course, why did the police uh, get wind of it? I mean. I think it's a, it must have been the neighbors snitching, eh? And more often than not, it's women. It's fucking women or feminist men. Yeah, yeah. Brainwash, uh, mainstream listening, watching, uh, uh, low information, humanoids, eh? Also, why the fuck would you do that, eh? Uh, but of course, you know, there's a certain percentage of, and I think it's going higher as far as I'm concerned. The certain percentage, a permanent certain percentage of, of people in society that are sociopaths and psychopaths and psychotic people where they get, they actually get a psychological, physical, sexual arousal and excitement and pleasure from inflicting pain from actually, you know, uh, at, at, uh, uh, at a distance or in close proximity inflicting pain and terror. Yeah. <laughs> huh? and, and of course, and this has been proven more than ever, you know, uh, and a larger percentage of the elites, the powers that be, much larger percentage of them are, are those types of people. And of course, you know, uh, more than ever in the alternative media, you, when you'd had a video uh, and articles of uh, production where they, they, they showed that, they proved, they proved this, that pedophiles rule, rule you, the world, they rule you. <laughs> the real planet Earth. Can can you imagine? Can you imagine that? Eh? Pedophiles, P pedos. Ah, eh? doesn't get give. Doesn't that give you some fuzzy, warm butterflies in your stomach? Eh? <laughs> God, this man. Eh? Tabernacle. Hmm? Christ de tabernacle. Eh? <laughs> Yeah, the, the snitching, uh, and of course the snitching, snitching on your neighbor uh, in a COVID lockdown that's, and calling the police. You know, it's it's extremely convenient. It saves a lot of energy, time, money for the powers that be, for the police. Hey, to, to enforce, to enforce the regulation. You know, it doesn't require as many politician and, and, and cops on the, on the street. To, to enforce, eh? Because <laughs> a large percentage of the population will, will be glad or glad, uh, overjoyed in snitching for them and going to bat for the police. <laughs> yeah, sadly, this is how fucked up society is, eh, people? So, uh, so, so going forward, 
as I have uh, as articulated by up to 10 people in a big Zoom conference call uh, done by the 21 Studios, 21 Convention, uh, you know, headed by Anthony The Dream Johnson, which you, you know, you should all subscribe to the YouTube channel and, and elsewhere in Bit, Bit the, the, and all their media, social media uh, platforms. Uh, you know they, they they were asked what are their predictions how about how twenty twenty first will 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 be economically socially politically and vast majority of them said 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 that uh, you know for um, people be, better be very, very very careful let's say they're already married already living together like a, a couple man and woman. You know they're gonna have to think very carefully. Let's say the couple is not is not totally happy being together. They have the the like in 2020 or 2019 prior. Now they were seriously considering you no know, divorce and and divorce and so on and so on. Uh, but a, a lot of pe- a lot of them might reconsider, especially after they they their hours have been cut or their jobs or of one of them or both both of the. Um, both members and the couple, their jobs were uh, terminated, lost their job. They're going to have to, a lot of them will opt to pull the resource together, you know? The resources uh, and the, the uh, financial resources and so on. Um, to survive, just to, to make ends meet, just to survive next few months. <laughs> and God forbid years. And those that are not uh, in, in, uh, they're living by themselves and, and uh, going into going into uh, hold on here uh, going into 2021 uh, let's say they're going into 21 you know not quite financially shaky and uh, you know let's say they lost their jobs and <laughs> and, and uh, in 2021 in 2020 and let's say they have not built uh, any or any uh, credible good enough local tribe uh, to to uh, you know to to to, uh, to get help from uh, 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 to get uh, help from resource wise and so on no, no, they, they, many of them will, will, will gonna, they're going to feel the pressure to do so, and and, uh, and others, others, uh, some will will totally lose their fucking mind, <laughs> will panic, will, and then others will run to the uh, the government. Oh, hey, they, you know, they're gonna they're gonna plead. Hey, what the fuck, man? Don't you have a social program? And, and many of them, if they're men, God forbid, white men, they're gonna they're gonna be left in the cold a lot more, eh? <laughs> Uh, and because, of course, most of the help will be directed. It's already directed. It's already set up for to service and serve women, girls, hey, young and old. <laughs> not us, not us white men. Eh? We are dispensable, expendable, and disposable. Eh? White scum. We have too much white privilege. Eh? <laughs> Um, and, and also are uh, those that are uh, in a couple and let's say they all uh, they, you know, they have some conflict and stuff like that uh, and let's say most of uh, and let's say they, 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 they have some problems some conflict but in, in their hearts both of them they say hey it's nothing that they they ultimately cannot overcome if they really work hard enough at it if they're they're more proactive they get counseling and they work they work out their shit more and they lower their, their uh, mutual standards of each other and, and, and to uh, so that it's more realistically based in reality uh, uh, some will, will some, some uh, the COVID lockdown 
will will be for some the necessary and will be enough pressure so will be enough of a survival pressure to do so to work to 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 have to readjust their standards of attraction satisfaction uh, mutually so that long term they're more happy than not staying together uh, all the way to let's say they're not married yet let's say they've been uh, one two three four years together and not married and some 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 will be uh, uh, successful enough to the point where some will choose to actually get married be it publicly private uh, so on and of course it will be a, a certain percentage of will, they will let's say they were uh, uh, happy enough in 2020 uh, and, and but uh, 2021 the, uh, let's say um, it could be that sometimes the financial pressure, financial downside of um, either one of the spouses loses a job or been downgraded or they have to find another job, less paying, less uh, well paying job, or they're, they're, they're running a business and they, the business is not going so well or it goes bankrupt and stuff like that. Again, related, uh, not helped at all. Uh, harmed, harmed uh, specifically by the government, you know, because they're focusing on forcing the lockdowns uh, more on small, the smallest businesses. Uh, so otherwise, happy enough uh, uh, couples, um, uh, many of them will blow up. They will divorce. They will separate. Uh, because uh, uh, because many of many of the number one reasons will be because too much financial pressures, money money conflicts, uh, uh, irritation, uh, financial this uh, 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 annoyance, uh, dis dis dissatisfaction. Uh, especially, it's much more of the case uh, on the side of the woman. The woman uh, will be, if they, they she is too feels too insecure financially, more often than not, it's the woman that is going to uh, flinch, bail out, cave, die, leave, divorce, uh, uh, cower, cower down, and not and not not buckle down and 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 uh, strive forward uh, as a corp uh, with, with her boyfriend or her husband. So, you know, uh, and so again, this will reveal, it is, of course, already revealing for the past few months, but it's going to <laughs> go into turbo mood. <laughs> In 21, this, this, uh, the Great Reset, is that what it's called? The Great Reset. Uh, the Great Reset will clear out, will call, will call, C U the double L will clear out, kill off, will off uh, a large number, a large number of population, a large, many, many, many people, millions of people, hundreds of millions of people globally. Uh, the weakest, the poorest, the poorest. Financially, emotionally, resource-wise, community-wise, uh, local, tribe-wise. Uh, <laughs> uh, and the laziest ones. The laziest ones. Uh, and that is, the, and they're everywhere, right? Eh? In some ways, that's going to be great fucking news as far as I'm concerned. And that includes a lot of seniors will go bye bye. Their uh, their medication, their nursing homes, the staffing, the meals, the, the comfort is going to be cut, cut, cut. Nursing homes, especially in the uh, public sector, government will cut, cut, cut. We'll we'll make this very easy calculation. Uh, as predicted by by many well known people that. 
in the end of days, one of the first things the government is going to do is cut off. Stop subsidizing the weakest of society. And the great majority of them are people in retirement. Living off uh, their pension, government welfare. So what is it? Uh, social welfare? Social security, Medicare, Medicaid. All these little fucking things. Nursing homes, stuff like that. Government-funded nursing homes. Yeah, yeah, sadly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so uh, those that, you know, those uh, seniors that, that, that had uh, offspring. You know, right? Let's say those seniors that, that were much more autonomous all throughout their lives. In, in not depending on government welfare and stuff like that. Man. And especially if they had children. Like at least two. And they raised them well enough to be extremely autonomous. Financially independent, well off, enough. So that uh, it, it, they could uh, privately fund the, the, their, uh, their parents or their grandparents' uh, health care needs. Hygiene needs, feedings, stuff like that. Instead of putting them in government-funded nursing homes. Yeah, it's those are going to survive. They're going to have a much better chance of surviving the future. Okay? It's called re re resilience. Eh? Physical, psychological, emotional resilience. Ah, yeah, there's a part of me that is so incredibly fuckingly, fuckingly eager for parts of the great fucking reset. And me specifically, me going forward, because uh, I decided what a few weeks ago, a few months ago, or a month ago, to I I I have abandoned. Abandoned in the dating realm, uh, my own race, the women of my own race that live in Canada, that were born here, basically. and I have decided to focus on the the uh, the native women in the Philippines, Filipinos, or Filipinas, uh, rather, for women. Uh, so far, so far, it's to go over there a few times. First, what initially what find them uh, on in, online and internet? Go see them in person in their country, uh, and uh, eventually, um, my plan, my long term plan, long term plan is to bring one to live with me here in Canada. Ah, uh, uh, long term plan. Sadly. Tragically, <laughs> that is how successful third wave feminism, feminism has incredibly successfully destroyed <laughs> white women in uh, Western countries. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Uh, what else? What else? Oh. <sighs> oh yeah, we'll, we'll touch on this and then we'll, we'll end on this. Oh yeah, okay. So specifically, also um, me, because this is very much my expertise. Also, for the first time, for what hundreds of millions of people or more, uh, going into twenty one, they're gonna uh, su uh, suffer financially and stuff like that. Many and uh, millions of people will, will will for the first time be forced forced to have better nutrition, <laughs> to eat better. Oh my goodness! Meaning, meaning. And it's not what you think I'm gonna say here. Absolutely fucking not. If you, if you if you don't know me uh, well enough, they're gonna have to reduce to limit to all the way eliminate all fruits and vegetable and nuts. And go just for the essential, basic 
optimal food, which is nose to tail, ruminant animal eating. Uh, red meat, organ, uh, red meat basically, and including the organ meats and so on. Intestine, spleen, and stuff like that. I regularly, uh, at least once a week, I eat a six organ, six organ mixture uh, along with some uh, uh, ground beef in there. It's dog food. <laughs> they, they, market, they market it for dog food. In there, in there there's an intestine, a uh, spleen. Well, intestine, they call it tripe. It's green, green. Yeah, and it has a lot of that. It has a lot of, apparently, a lot of uh, uh, collagen. So, so not just hearts or a kidney. No, no, no. Six in total. Uh, organs. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, cultured. So, the uh, second one is uh, eggs. Whole eggs. A lot of them. I have uh, at least six eggs. Whole eggs every fucking day. And the third uh, is uh, cultured dairy products. Namely, most of all, Greek yogurt. The non-flavored. Non-flavored, the highest percentage of uh, uh, protein. Lots of that. I can't tolerate uh, non -conj non fermented, not not non cultured uh, dairy product anymore, like whole, uh, milk or whole whole or otherwise. Nope, nope, nope. My uh, my system can't take it anymore. Uh, too much uh, uh, episodes of diary stuff like that. And it's about goddamn time. Also, I I was lucky. I mean, uh, well, over a year ago, I about uh, stopped. You know, and jeez, you know, I was able to all the way to to about uh, fifty one years old. I was able to. Consume a lot of uh, non-cultured dairy products like uh, like milk. So uh, yeah, and and uh, and white rice, white rice, uh, and white rice is is mostly in the uh, if you are a high performing high f physically performing uh, human specimen like me, who. Uh, Along with his standing up all day, uh, uh, job wise, uh, I, I I impose uh, a lot of uh, strength training, strength dominating uh, training, be it everything from giant latex resistance band to small ones, short and long ones, to body weight exercise, to to uh, this is my favorite now, uh, massive. Uh, several hundred pounds of uh, loaded uh, steel sled. Oh, steel sled! I'm glad I, I'm I, I'm glad I bought this, man. Fuck, man! I had delayed it for many years. So I'm not sure if it's really useful and stuff like that. You know, I've seen it. I've planned for many years in strongman competition, uh, CrossFit and stuff like that. <laughs> but I never thought I would have. Uh, I would enjoy it as much as I do. And I, I, it's so uh, as uh, and I, I never tried it would be uh, much of a like a strength all out brute strength uh, exercise, but it is backwards pulling though, not pushing backwards with the body almost straight, like leaning back easily at up to about a forty five degree angle, dithering, coordinating, leaning back as much as I can without slipping, falling down, and. And pulling with the arm straight, with with straps, massive straps on my hand and on the bar, so that it, it makes my grip much uh, much stronger. Because when you pull seven hundred fifty pounds over twelve feet, one's ordinary hands. I don't care if you do a hook grip or, 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 or uh, also, which is goddamn it, uh, it's painful. You know, I I do not want to. Uh, build a uh, pain a tolerance to 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 do it, uh, and I and I I, I I don't need to. I really don't care because I do not compete officially. And thank goodness, because knowing myself, can you imagine if I would officially compete every now and then, even like once a year? <laughs> uh, yeah, I would have a lot more 
odds, chances of getting hurt like really badly. Uh, given my age, just because um, not just my age, but mostly because one of my biggest weaknesses is that I I like I like too much I like so much strength training that my biggest weakness is to restrain myself enough long enough so that I I I do not get hurt uh, really bad you know and I cannot really afford also to get really hurt even uh, bad at all even 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 uh, even a little bit also because it will affect my my job performance or or it will prevent also I'll easily prevent me uh, doing it at all even uh, so I'm gonna wind down here because uh, uh, on this phone I don't know if it's like this on old phones or your phones or uh, older ones or new ones I, I don't know it it stops uh, at around fifty two or so minutes. And then you have to start another one to make another one. But hey, it's plenty long enough, I think, eh? Yeah, because I could talk all day and all night, you know? But hey, you have a life, I, you know? Uh, and, 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 and me too, you know? It's a nice winding down to be, before I go to sleep. Uh, all right. I hope you had a great, great day. Oh, yeah. One last thing. Uh... Earlier today and, and John today, I I have posted a lot more on my Instagram, a lot more uh, photos that I already had from uh, from from recently to a while ago, and I have uh, uploaded to Rumble, Libri, Bitchu, many more videos already made from my YouTube channel. What I do, I download from my YouTube channel. Into a uh, folder, and then I re-upload to all those alternative uh, platforms. So, and I every now and then I link the link to uh, or let, I let you know on my Facebook timeline. All right, peeps. Uh, I bid you good night. Sleep well, and I'll see you possibly tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow.